What is up everybody? Welcome to my YouTube channel. I've owned the Canon EOS R6 Mark II for a little over seven months now, possibly eight months. I don't remember the exact date when I received it in the mail, but I did get this when it first came out. And so far it's been an amazing camera. And yeah, this is gonna be pretty much a uh, long-term review because I've owned the camera possibly eight months. I don't, I don't remember exactly. But I only have two things that I don't like about this camera. One of them being the um, micro HDMI port that they put on here. I don't like those things because they break really easy, you know, especially if you use it frequently, you know. I try not to use it as much as possible because I don't want to break it. And the other um, thing that I don't like about this camera is you don't have all eye in here. Hopefully we get that in a future update. That would be amazing, Canon. <laughs> Hopefully they do that. That would be awesome. Because I got it, I had that in my Canon EOS R. Actually, I have that in my Canon EOS R. That's the camera I'm using to record this video right now. But yeah, you can put it in the EOS R, you can put it in here. And yes, it doesn't have C Log 2. That I don't think that's possible because I don't think the sensor in this camera can handle that. But you do get amazing um, autofocus in this camera. The autofocus is amazing. You're gonna nail your shots. It's not gonna let you down. You might get a couple that you don't, you know, hit focus, but 99.9% .9 of the time, you're gonna hit focus with this camera. It's an amazing photography camera. You can use it to do um, professional photography. It takes amazing video. You don't have that 4K crop in here. So that just makes it even better, you know? And for the price point, with this camera, you can't go wrong with all the features you get in here. This thing is packed with features. You got um, zebras, you got false color in here. You can shoot in C-Log3, 10-bit 422. It's amazing. You can use third-party lenses on this camera with the Canon adapter. If you purchase the Canon adapter, it's only $99. But the one thing that I did notice um, when you use third-party on here, especially because it doesn't have the RF mount, um, you're not going to get the same sharpness or performance that you're, um, that you're going to get out of the RF lenses until Canon decides that they're going to let third party manufacturers, um, manufacture RF third party lenses. But until then, we're not going to know. But I did notice on my RF lenses, I get way sharper images and they, it just performs a lot better. But don't get me wrong, you can use third party lenses on here and you're still gonna get amazing photos, you're still gonna get amazing video. But I did notice that um, the um, third party lenses weren't as sharp as the RF lenses. I mean, you can use the cheapest RF lens on here. The cheapest RF lens is the 50 millimeter F1.8. You know, I compared that with my Sigma 51.4 and that cheap, $99 lens was way sharper than my Sigma lens for some reason. Maybe it was just operator error or something. I need to run more tests, you know, when I get the chance to go out and shoot because lately I haven't been out there shooting because I live in Florida and our weather out here right now is not good. It is so hot and humid out there. I don't want to go out there and shoot. Oh yeah, by the way, um, I did change up my background. I kind of like switched to another area in my room, you know, because if you watch my other videos, you'll see that I had a different, totally different background. I was facing the window and in, in my YouTube room, you know, or my computer room, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, I pretty much switched everything around. So I'm facing this wall here with these shelves and I like it. I think it looks a lot better. Sometimes you gotta change it up. But yeah, back to the third party lenses and the RF lenses. Yeah, the 50 millimeter F1.8 was making my Sigma 50 millimeter 1.4 look bad. Yes, it was making it look bad. But yeah, so far guys, um, camera's been amazing. I thought I'd just do a video since I owned the camera almost eight months or again, maybe it's been eight months. I don't really know, but that's pretty much it for this video. I guess I will see you guys in the next video. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you found it helpful. 
All right, guys. I'm out. Peace.